hi everyone and welcome in this video we will see how to read or monitor multiple tag values of any opc ds server in the lab view so if you have any opc ds server running in your system or running over your network and if you want to read that opc ds server tag value inside the lab view to create interactive gui or to monitor those values then you can use lab view to create those things okay so in this video we are going to use process opc ds simulation server as you can see it's running in my system and you can see client connected is zero now if you click on this variable and uh, if you go to random then you can see ps integer one okay so if i want to read this value and for all ps integer one available in the different different folder if i want to read the all ps integer one data in the lab view then how we can read that so for that i have already created a lab view project okay you can see that here so this is my lab view project okay and i have configured all this tag detail in the back end of this project i don't have to configure in the front end okay so whatever tag we want to read we can configure that tag in the back end so it will directly connect to that opc ds server and it will read that data and if you have multiple opc ds server okay then also you can provide multiple opc ds server tag in the lab view and it will connect to multiple opc ds server and it will read the data from multiple opc ds server as well so lab view is capable for that so as i've explained i have configured all the tag addresses in the back end of this project and here we are only going to configure the interval so at what interval we are going to read the data so we are going to read the data at 500 millisecond and here you will see the latest data read timestamp and here you will see if we have any error while reading or connecting with opcda server okay so once i start my lab view project you can see it is continuously reading the data and if i go to random and if i click here okay you will see the value okay so this value and this value is continuously updating and it is matching because you can see random dot ps integer one and here also random and ps integer one is the variable name okay so this is how you can use lab view to connect with any opc da server and to read the data from any opc da server i can also use multiple opc da server to connect with and i can read data from multiple opc da server if i have cap server and if i provide the cap server tag details in the back end of this project then this lab view project will connect to that cap server okay and it will read the data from that cap server and it will display the data on the gui of the lab view here i have used the basic uh, monitoring objects okay but you can use uh, like scale or gauge anything okay it's up to you how you want to monitor your data but for a demo project i have used this simple object to show you that we are able to read the data from opcd server and here you can see the client connected is one and if i stop then you will see the client connected is zero and if i start again then it will start reading the data okay and you can see the client connected is one so this is how you can use lab view to continuously read the data from any opc da server and you can monitor your data after that you can extend this project to log the data in the csv file to log the data in sqlite database anything is possible after this project okay so i hope this thing is clear that how you can use lab view to read multiple opc da tag values and to monitor those tag values on the lab view gui if you want to buy this project then link of this project available in the description of this video you can go there and you can buy this project and if you have any question regarding this project then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp or you can also put your comments on the comment section also you can send me a mail okay so let's meet in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you